quick video on how to use eBay feeds for WordPress, a plugin to put your eBay partner network feeds onto your WordPress blog. Um, so if you've been a member of the eBay partner network, you know that it's really easy to put, um, use the different tools like the uh, link generator, creative generator, etc., onto your static website. It's basically just cut and paste code, but uh, to put it on a blog, it's uh, a different animal, and there's hardly anything out there that you can use effectively on your blog. So um, what there is out there, the only thing I could find was the eBay feeds for WordPress. And if you go to the WordPress website and look up the, the plugin there, uh, it gives you these uh, directions which um, aren't real clear to someone who's not real techie. Um, and so let me just cut to the chase here and show you how to do it. So um, when you in install the plugin on your WordPress blog, it's going to have the default eBay feed here. And what you need to do is go to your eBay partner network. And what I'm using is the RSS feed. I don't think you can use these other ones. I haven't tried, but since this RSS feed uh, tool on the eBay Partner Network loads so long, it took like three minutes to load. I don't know why. I'm just going to um, stick <laughs> with that for now. So uh, what you want to do is select the program, the feed type. Uh, there's only two options, deals and all eBay inventory. I select all eBay inventory. Um, before uh, you go to the RSS generator, especially if you're having trouble with it loading like I am, is you need to go back to your uh, dashboard and create a new campaign name so that you can select it here. Then you're going to, well, what I do is I go to the add content area, I find the category name, the keywords I'm going to use, and then uh, that's it. I just click generate link, then I copy this feed URL here, and then I go to the uh, the plugin and I paste it in default eBay feed here. Cut and paste here, set the number of uh, items to show. Um, I like to click this sometimes, just depends. And then that feed is ready to go on any article or post that you have on your blog. Okay, so the question is okay, so how do I? Um, change and put on different feeds on different pages on my blog. Well, all you have to do is go to your posts and so let me take a step back. The way to install a feed is you do the icon is going to be in your toolbar and here it is, insert eBay feed. Um, so if you want just the default default to show, you would just let me go find. Oh, here it is. You would just cut, um, click, insert eBay feed here, and then this code will show up. If you want a different feed other than the default that you just copied and pasted in the plugin, you are going to go back to your eBay Partner Network feed or URL that you have created, whatever it is. You're going to copy it, and then you are going to paste it in between the quotes here. And then, there you are. That's how to do it. Before you do anything that I just said, you need to uh, back up your WordPress blog because this plugin is kind of old. I don't know if it's going to work on your theme. It may or may not. Um, I don't think this guy, whoever created it, is getting any money. I know how it is. I created a really cool plugin similar to this and uh, there were just a lot of questions and support and I wasn't getting any money, any revenue. It was just wasn't worth it. So um, anyway, my advice is to always back up your uh, WordPress blog because you never know what's going to happen. Okay. Hope that helped. Please uh, thumbs up, like, and share, and we'll talk to you later.